Hello students, welcome to your channel Parivartan Physics. So physics paper is over, I guess everyone has done very good. Uh, so now in this video, we'll quickly discuss about the key answers of MCQs as well as fill in the blanks, right? Analysis of question paper I have not yet done. So we'll see the key answers uh, quickly now. Okay, first question, a point charge Q1 exerts a force F on another point charge Q2 when placed at a fixed distance. If another point charge Q3 is brought near Q2, the force on Q2 due to Q1 will not change. This is by the concept of superposition of, uh, principle of superposition, right? The right answer is does not depend, right? It does not change. The correct answer is option D. It will not change, right? Okay, second question. Equipotential surfaces for an isolated point charge. Point charge, isolated point charge, equipotential surface will be spherical. Option A will be correct, okay? Well, let us go for the third question. Resistivity of material uh, of wire depends on material of the wire, material of the wire. Fourth question, the following table, okay, uh, let us see the table correctly. Okay, so here we have to match the things. So the in first column we are having at a distance R from an infinitely long straight wire. Infinite long straight wire, the magnetic field mu naught I upon 2 pi R, right? So first one is R, right? And second one at the center of circular current loop, mu naught I upon 2 R, here only. Right and third one at the center of current, uh, center of current carrying solenoid. Okay, it is mu naught ni. So it will be option B. It means uh, RQP. RQP means it is option B. RQP means option B is correct. Fourth question. Okay, let us go to the next question then. Fifth one. Okay, fifth question we'll see. So the fifth question is the net magnetic flux through any closed surface is zero. This law is called Gauss law in magnetism, magnetic flux, so Gauss law in magnetism. Okay, next we'll go for sixth question. Consider the following statements. AC generator works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. It is correct. In AC generator, as the armature is rotated in uniform magnetic field, the magnetic flux linked with the coil changes, which induces the EMF in it. Yes, here, but due to the change in orientation, the EMF will be induced. It means both the statements are correct. Both statements are true. Okay, we'll go for the seventh question. Seventh one, the variation of voltage and current through AC circuit with the time is as shown in the figure. See, here voltage and current both are in phase. Phase difference is zero. If phase difference is zero, it has to be a pure resistor circuit or it has to be an LCR circuit in resonance, right? Because LCR circuit in resonance also acts like a pure resistor circuit. Okay, uh, so which all inductance, alla, capacitance, alla, resistance and capacitance alla, combination barangilri, may have only resistance or may have suitable series combination of inductance, capacitance and resistance, right? So option D will be correct. Okay, let us go to the next question then. Eighth question, transformer pores are usually laminated. This is to reduce energy loss due to eddy currents. Energy loss due to eddy currents, option C is correct. Actually, eddy currents uh, concept remove, but the transformer, the uh, reduction of energy is on the point worth of it. Okay, Ampere Maxwell's law is written as Ampere Maxwell's law. Namaga electromagnetic waves like in question. So direct standard question clear. So it is option A. Conduction current plus uh, displacement current. Okay, tenth question. Final image of real object formed by compound microscope is it will be inverted, virtual, and enlarged. Right? Enlarged image compound microscope use mark. Okay, virtual, inverted, and magnified. Right? So option D will be correct. Tenth question. Next, 11th question, which one of the following statements is wrong about interference? Wrong statement, light waves of same wavelength coming from two independent sources can be coherent and can produce interference. No, the light sources coherent are independent, they are formed from the single source, right? So this statement is wrong. Let us read the next statement also. When the path difference between the two interfering waves is n lambda, bright fringe is produced. Okay, n lambda path difference to bright fringe, right? When the phase difference between two interfering waves is 2n plus 1 pi, dark fringe is produced. Yes, phase difference 2n plus 1 pi. Ado, namu n pi er thadari, 2n plus 1 pi er In Hence double slit experiment, dark and bright fringes are equally spaced. Yes, and the wrong statement, option A is the wrong statement. So, 11th question, option A. 12th question, a ball is dropped from a certain height and it falls freely under gravity. During the fall, the de Broglie wavelength associated with it. De Broglie wavelength associated with the body of mass m and velocity v is given by lambda is equal to h divided by m v. Right? Velocity is in denominator. So when the body is falling down, its velocity increases. If the velocity in the denominator increases, then wavelength has to decrease. So keeps decreasing. Option B is correct. 
okay let us go to the next question 13th one in rutherford's alpha scattering experiment alpha particles of specific energy are projected towards the gold foil if the impact parameter for the alpha particle is zero then angle of scattering see impact parameter andre if an impact parameter is zero alpha particle is just traveling along the uh, send along, to, along the straight line joining the center of the nucleus that's why it will get rebounded rebounded means uh, how much will be the angle of scattering 180 degree option c is correct binding energy per nucleon of nucleus is measure of binding energy per nucleon of nucleus it means they are speaking about specific binding energy specific binding energy yav the yav nucleus jaasti irutha it is more stable yav nucleus is kadime irutha it is less stable so it tells us about the stability right option d is correct stability the energy gap of silicon silicon the energy gap 1.1 electron volt right so the, the, that is all about the mcqs we'll go for the fill in the blanks now fill in the blanks fill in the blanks of choosing appropriate answer okay let us go for the blanks directly questions directly an electric dipole placed in a uniform electric field experiences net torque right so this is the first one net torque okay uh, net torque let me write it okay so for 16th question net torque so it will experience net torque sorry okay net torque so the answer for 16th question is torque water is an example of diamagnetic material of magnetic irodilla 18th one when dash rod is inserted into a coil its self inductance increases ferromagnetic rod polarization of light shows that light is transverse in nature photoelectric effect is instantaneous right so first one torque second one diamagnetic third one ferromagnetic fourth one transverse in nature fifth one instantaneous right so these are the key, key answers of fill in the blanks as well as mcqs hope you all have done good we'll again meet in the next video right thank you so much for watching uh, and supporting the channel thank you